guys, it is Meaver, it is Sheaver, it is Beaver, it is Scorpion Red Sero, and I am back in the build and I am back at it, back, back at it again. Yes, indeed, my friend. This is the Hey New Boo. Where are you? Hey New Boo, where are you, baby? We've been trying to seek you out, okay? We've been trying to feel your energy. We're trying to get things going, okay? We're trying to get all this good energy showing up in our life. So, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies, a shout out to all my babies for like, sharing, subscribing and clicking this video okay we are reloading come on ring the bell come on y'all know before we get into any guidance today before we find out where our new boo is at and where he been at um you know we always want to give praise thanks and acknowledgement to father god the universe the creator however you resonate with him whatever you call him we want to give him love um, so if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me, Father God, I thank you so much for graciously uh, being here and covering, covering us and um, showering us with so much love for the collective. We are here to find out where our new booze are at. We got all of these wonderful, beautiful, divine masculines out here looking for their divine feminines and their divine feminines looking for their divine masculines. They're just hoping that their divine masculine just come in like a knight in shaman armor and just swoop them up and cover them in their love. And I know that these men, it's just... They're just looking for the one that shine. That one is just a little bit different. That one is going to make their heart beat and put that butterflies in their stomach. Out of all of these women in the world, these men just need her. 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 Father God, I tell my men and my women all the time, there's somebody out there right now that is frustrated and that is being patient. And they've been praying for you. They've been dealing with their little bouts of feeling lonely. You know, they've been focusing on their inner work. They've been doing what they need to do for themselves. But God is preparing us all. And, you know, in this reading, Father God, we want to be able to give everyone collectively the guidance that they need to receive um, in the stage that they are in, in reaching their somebody. Because, you know, there's somebody for everybody. And God, I know you designed somebody specifically for my viewers so father god please guide my viewers to the power that they need to get the message that they need to receive today father god please let everybody know that they are covered and they have been spared father okay anything that didn't work before now it's for a reason all right thank you so much father god for covering and sparing us please let each uh person in our collective loving and abundant unit let all your children receive what they need to receive and believe what they need to believe in itself, Father God, because you can't achieve anything if you don't believe. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you so much for loving us and thank you so much for covering us. And um, please give us the guidance that we need to receive today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. All right? And Father God, you know we always got to say, thank you for being a friend. Mm -mm -mm. Travel down the road and back again Your heart is true You're a pal and a confidant Thank you for being a friend Come on, Father God, thank you so much for being a friend Sha-la-la, Jesus Sha-la-la Okay, you in the bomb.com So listen, to all of my babies If a Mercedes if you have not seen the thumbnail to see the individual decks, each power, each selection here, I am going to add that thumbnail right in here. So, if you guys have picked group number one that is represented by the sign of Gemini. Gemini, what is good? Gemini. <laughs> Let me just say something to Gemini real quick. My, 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 Gemini. You have been all over the place. Every time I do a pick a card reading and I use these astral dice and I do a shuffle, you are always the first to come out. And I, I sat here today and I said, you know what? Gemini been out 
on the table the past couple of pick a card readings. Maybe I need to roll the dice and try to get another sign. And I rolled it again and you came out again, my friend. So listen, I cannot deny you, baby. I cannot deny you. Now listen, you do not have to be a Gemini to pick this uh this pile selection. You do not have to have Gemini placements um, or have anything to do with Geminis at all. You know, you could just like this bracelet and group number one. So have it, uh, have you been uh, guided to this group by the bracelet or by the sign of Gemini? Group number one is your reading. <laughs> I am so serious. Like Gemini, y'all take me out. Y'all have just been like really taking me out. <laughs> If you pick group number two because you were attracted to the cancer sign, you do not have to be a cancer or have cancer placements or even know that this was the sign of the cancer. You could just like pound number two like this light pink bracelet or just been guided to want to pick pound number two. So if this right here had your eyes gravitate to pound number two, this is going to be your reading right here. And for group number three, what it be, Taurus, you can't ignore us. If you picked the sign of the Taurus, if you are a Taurus, you don't have to be a Taurus. You don't have to have Taurus placements or even knew that this was a Taurus sign. If you just like this bracelet or group number three was just calling your energy, this pile is going to be your reading. Okay. We are reloaded. So let's slide these on to the side. Let's slide these on to the side. And let's get into group number one and have some fun. So group number one, again, if you pick Gemini and this pink bracelet, this is your reading. Let's get into group number one. Let's find out where your new boo is, group number one. So first question is, when is love coming in? You got the improving health card. So love is going to come in once things get more fertile for you. Like fertile grounds. Possibly in your um, financial sector. Or you might be dealing with some personal health issues that are just in the forefront right now. Which is... I don't want to say that love couldn't be a possibility right now. But I did hear that. So I want to say love really has to be put on the back burner right now because of certain health concerns that you guys are dealing with. Um, I want to say people have been, um, I just heard blood pressure issues. Someone needs to go to a dietitian um, and really take more time when you're doing grocery shopping and stuff. Look on the back of the box and see the nutrition um, scale on the back and see how much sodium it says in there. You'll be surprised um, how much sodium is in certain things that you wouldn't even think that sodium was in. So right now, I think you guys need to practice more health, um, focus, you know, incentives right now. Maybe you may meet this person with a more healthy living, more healthy thinking environment. I know spring is coming out. I see, I see someone walking around a, a like a, a, a riverfront. Like in some Lululemon jogging suit or something like that. Why y'all giving me Lululemon in your nice little jogging shoes? And you just walk in with your headphones in and things like that. But it has something to do with you focusing on improving your health. Better living. Improving your lifestyle. Once things with your health issue um, isn't so much in the forefront of your responsibilities. And you can kind of like do more of upkeep instead of repair are you feeling what i'm saying and i think that that is like a message to someone focus on day-to-day -day upkeep so that you won't have to make a major repair something that has to do with healthy you focusing on healthy living and improving your health that's when love is going to come in so when is love coming in when your health and your lifestyle improves so let's see. Let's get info on this future connection. You got exciting news and main attraction. Y'all, I just seen the next freaking card. That just, yo, because I promise y'all, I did not look at any of these freaking cards. 
that came out in this deck, y'all. Why is... Uh, the next card is personality type. Why is the personality type that just came out silent? Why is the personality type of this person freaking silent? And for the... Oh, my... So I'm sorry, sometimes doing what I do, it freaks me out. Because I make it a point. Do, if I shuffle my cards out and I see a card flip over and I seen it, I'm putting it back and I'm refocusing my energy. And I'm Because I don't want to see anything. And for these cards to talk to each other like that, you can't tell me spirituality isn't real. You can't tell me God don't be walking all in through this. And I know someone who was watching this is on the other side of this reading, screaming right now, like, yes, girl, I just followed a whole bunch of health groups. I'm get, I'm doing juicing. I, even though I heard juicing is not good for you. Girlfriend, do not do juicing. Just eat the salad. Do not do juicing. Just eat the fruit. I promise you. Let's see what's going on with this person's personality, y'all. It says salad, loves nature, healthy, earthy, enjoys yoga and spiritual. So, uh, uh, this is exciting news for you. Because you are going to be the main attraction. Because of your better living, your healthy lifestyle. I feel like because you've been paying so much more attention to yourself. Like, I heard you are a procreation tool. I have never said that before. I heard you could be utilized for procreation to make things grow um, for, uh, what do you say, um, no, sustainability, is that right? Yes, yeah, sustainability, for sustainability. Let me read this, it says main attraction, someone can keep their eyes off of you, you are their leading star, you are the center of attention. You guys could be working out, always going to the salad bar. I don't know if you'd be going to Chopped all of the time. What's the other place called? Um, Green. What is it? Mm -hmm. You be going somewhere and ordering a green machine or something? I pro oh, it's freaking me out. Exciting news. Good news is coming your way. Whether it be a pregnancy. Oh, oh my God. Whether it be pregnancy. An engagement or moving in together. Get excited to celebrate. Oh my. I, you know what? I just got to keep going because y'all freaking me out. Y'all are freaking me out. Group number one. Like, y'all are freaking me out. Ah, I love it though. Give me physical features. Let's find out physical features of this person. So we have brown eyes and straight hair straight dark hair so for my fellas brown eyes brown beautiful eyes and straight dark hair or for my ladies he has beautiful you know like how sometimes when the sun hit someone eyes and it looks like amber reddish brown oh and you would just get lost in the beautiful, beautiful eyes. Oh my goodness. And they have natural dark, like black hair. One thing about me, I don't have black hair. I have like a brown, like all burnish mixed color hair. I don't know anybody in my family that has actual black hair. And someone I dated recently, he had black hair. That was my first time other than like a female with a wig on. I have never seen anyone with like jet black hair in my life. Because everybody in my family has like reddish, all Bernie Brown hair. You know what I'm saying? So, I was, and I loved his hair. Because I was just so intrigued that his, his and his eyes were like... I want to say like almost freaking black. Like it, it tripped me out. It tripped me out. Um, But like the actual texture of the hair, it was so strong. It was the most beautifully strong, healthy hair, head of hair I've ever seen. It was wavy. It was beautiful. Ooh, honey, honey. So I feel like you're going to be lost in this person's eyes. I feel like this person is going to have a full beautiful thick 
head of luscious straight hair. Have it be real and fake, but listen. Hmm. So let's see. Give me information about how how you gonna meet this person. Ooh, you got the lovers in the reverse, and then you got the three of wands. So. Group number one, you want to meet this person after you done made your mind up that you're not finding any connections where, I mean, you're not comfortable where you're at. You have no desire to move anything forward with anybody that you've been currently in communication with. And you've just been kind of waiting for your ship to sail. You're waiting to travel, to move, to really penetrate the world in a way that you've always wanted to i feel like you are very goal and task oriented right now the fact that you are like standing there i just heard like a transfer trip you know like how someone got like a transfer token or a transfer strip uh uh slip like they're going from one trail uh, uh a train line to another like they're transferring i thought why well, i feel like someone's like at a metro station they're transferring rails. It's like you're waiting for your, your, your train to arrive. So you need to get where you're going. You're going to meet this person once you finally made your mind up that you're over um, trying to make connections with people where things just don't fit. It's like I'm over. I'm done. I got like, I have other goals. And I have some place where I'm about to be. Like I'm about to be late. So you could have made a decision like it's a choice to continue to entertain and to allow people to waste your time. I don't know who this is in this group. I really do feel like whoever this is in this group is older. Like I heard you've been on different railways before. So like and I'm seeing okay, so like in, in the DMV area, like the Metro Rail is in colors. You know, there's the blue line, there's the yellow line, the green, red, orange. So, and typically if you're only from a certain part of town, you may only know like the green and the red line. You might have never had a reason to go on a purple or a silver line or a blue line, you know, or the orange line. Only certain people from certain parts of town catch those color rails. So, I feel like you are transferring destinations. You may not, people may not be able to see you at the red and green line no more i think you're moving like further out of the city to like a purple and and and, and silver line i want to say like something that's rural like someone would have to if you don't have a car you would have to take like some metro or something to commute to you because it's far i want to say it's remote it's peaceful I want to say you guys could be moving to a rural area. Oh, it's, it's slower. And then for this person's personality type to be someone that's very earthy. Yeah, it's like someone lives near water. Like, you're further inland. You're, you're, you're closer to the countryside than you are to the city or near any type of water banks or anything like that. Like you have to travel to go into the city. So you're moving further than where you used to be or where you used to go. I want to say it's, um, it's a more positive environment. It's closer to your gym. Also, I want to say this environment, it has less distractions than you would, and less distractions and temptations that you would have in the city. Because... That's just like me. If I see a Starbucks or a place that sells boba tea, I am stopping. <laughs> Can you understand what I'm saying? It's like you spend a whole lot of unnecessary money because you have a whole lot of unnecessary temptations in the city. And you be in places where you shouldn't even be. It's like I feel like this group is more focused on work and a healthy, sober living environment. I think that has something to do with something as well. Let me look at this. I 
I heard with this love card, like you would easily be able to tell you two apart. Like there, there was somebody that you were dealing with, or you just like. It's like you're so over. It's like you're so different. Like you could easily be able to tell the different personalities apart. It just wasn't connecting. I want to say like your goals towards healthy living or even your need to want to relocate and move. It's feeling like you needed a different environment. Maybe someone wasn't willing to communicate with you anymore to move forward just something wasn't moving forward and you're just like i'm okay i'm okay with that i'm the main attraction like i'm moving i'm moving on look you done took your bird and you went on about your business look this her bird <laughs> you see her bird <laughs> okay so you could have let that go <laughs> you done took your spirit guide and went on about your business like I don't even think you you asked any questions so like you're going to find this this new boo is going to come either after um you've separated and relocated like permanently permanently you could be the main well not the could be the main attraction you are the main attraction because I want to say it's, it's only you around you don't have anybody to compete with or nobody to get in your way you just focusing on yourself and it's like you're doing what you want to do which is improving your lifestyle hmm so what is it that this person is going to like about my group one what is what is it about group one that your new boo is going to like about you the most you got pizza and brownies these could be some of your favorite foods a junk fooder like low key you are a junk fooder for real like i see why you were really trying to do this healthy living and lifestyle and stuff like that because you are a junk foodie person for real and and, and again that could be another thing with this lover's car because it's a choice it's not helping my lifestyle i see things progressively going the way that they are because I'm making certain healthy changes about myself. I, it's certain things that you felt just wasn't attractive anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I want to, I just heard I want to be in one of them healthy food groups. Okay. I, why not just say I want to be one of them healthy food group type of people? Because you know, like where it's the food group pyramid and like all the way at the bottom, it's this big ass and it got snacks, cookies, pies, fried chicken, bologna sandwich. It got all that stuff. <laughs> oh my God. So Brownie says, temptation, alluring, dark skinned, good, a fun time. They like you because you were hot to try. Look, mm -mm. I was about to say a hot to try a little thought. <laughs> I really do feel like you attempting. Okay. I like the way that you dress. I like um, your color coordination. I feel like you have a lot of style and flavor. You're deep. You're rich. You're very magnetic. I want to say certain people come to you literally just to talk about your clothes or your style. People may think that you're rich or that you come from some background of high stature or something like that. Because why I heard can't nobody make them cakes like that or the, something about them, some cakes like that. Don't nobody got them cakes like that. I don't know if you <laughs> in the gym and you got your Lululemons on and stuff like that and, they, and your cakes is just caking. <laughs> I feel like this person likes you because you are not necessarily one of the healthy food groups right now but they still want you <laughs> they still want you listen to me because your cakes be caking and it's no mistaking them jones be earthquaking bars okay <laughs> listen to me your cakes be caking girl them jones be caking it says reliable loyal fun has style and i didn't even see y'all okay i just got this deck right here this little menu said, I just got this. I just got this. Okay? So, again, 
group number one, y'all have freaked me out for the second time. The second time. Reliable, loyal, has fun, has style, messy, consistent. Again, you're a lot of fun. You're a lot of fun. I feel like you are not one of the main food healthy food groups. <laughs> And this person knows it and you know it too because you like cakes you like you like all of that fatty shit but at the same time I feel like you're trying to change your frequency and have a little bit of balance so it's like you guys can be the complete opposite of each other that desires each other you desire to be more healthy and be on this side and he desires to let himself go and have a little bit of cakes and pies and pizza and not be so you know strenuous about worrying about his healthy eating and healthy routine it's okay to like break your diet from time to time so there's someone that lives life on the wild side that is just fun that's creative that has a whole lot of style um doesn't matter it doesn't matter about being perfect with this group over here which is you you're not trying to be perfect it's about enjoying the experience it's like okay you messed up your shirt but did you enjoy eating the pizza okay when that tomato sauce went down, did you wipe it up with your finger and then lick your finger because that tomato sauce was good? Okay, so like, okay, throw your throw your shirt, throw your shirt in the washing machine. Don't worry about who saw you lick your finger because guess what? As long as that shit was good to you, who cares? Did you enjoy yourself? Okay. This one over here is about like, I don't know why I'm getting like a Virgo, like Earth sign or something like that. This one likes to be perfect. This one likes, uh, hmm. I don't really, Taurus, Taurus gives me this one. Out of the earth sign, Taurus gives me brownies and pizza. This is Virgo. <laughs> this is Virgo. This is Virgo. They need everything to be neat, tidy, and perfect in the way that they see things going. So yeah, group number one, as you start to focus on being more like this, then your normal self like this, you are going to attract the right type of connection. Because it, it could be very much so everybody that you've been meeting that eats pizza and brownies just like you. Like they're not healthy for you. It's like I already eat enough pizza and brownies. I don't need somebody else that's going to grow up to be a fucking fat ass just like me and just have, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, that could be why you have cholesterol issues. That could be why you might be struggling with, like, early signs of diabetes. You guys go get your eyes checked, you know. It's something like that. You're going to meet someone completely opposite of you. And this is going to be, it's going to throw you off. Because I want to say... For once in a lifetime. It's like once you finally let go. And you say you know what. I'm not the main attraction. And then guess what. I'm going to get rid of you before you can get rid of me. I don't see this connection going anywhere next. It's like once you decide that I'm going to stop focusing my energy. And stop trying to make things fixed that really don't work for me. I might really like this person. I might be really attracted to this person. The sex may be good. But this situation really doesn't work for me. And I'm okay with that. Let me do what makes me feel good. And if being by myself right now. And just moving forward is making me feel good. Then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to find what's meant for me along the way. Once you decide to let everything go that is no longer serving you truly and it and, and I don't even think that it's a um it was a second thought of the mind it's just like one day you woke up and was just like I don't I'm not feeding this anymore this shit is fake I'm not doing this anymore I'm not forcing anything I'm moving you just move once you do that, everything is going to change for you. For once in your life, you are, you are finally the main attraction. 
And you got people in your life that is going to celebrate it for you. Things are going up for you. Things are going up for you. Hmm. I like it. And I want to say... You two give in to each other. You know? It's like... They let you in and teach you a lot about their healthy, better living lifestyle. And you pull them over into the dark side and you let them live a little and have a little bit of fun and have you have. No, this is our cheat day. And when we have our cheat day, we're going to cheat and we're going to really have a good damn time. Okay? We're going out. We're going to eat what we want. We're going to party. We're going to really have it up. But all during the week, we healthy living. It's a good balance. It's an amazing balance. I really, really like this dynamic, you guys. And I feel like you guys are going to get lost in their eyes. And if it's a man, he's going to love your hair. He's going to love your style, your flair, and your hair. All right, group number one, it's been fun. Let's get on over to group number two and see what it do. Because I'm trying to say, if group number two... If these cars talk to each other like how group number one did, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Because group number one almost freaked me out, y'all. I promise you group number one was freaking me out. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Group number two, what it do? If you picked the sign of cancer, looking for your answers in this beautiful light pink bracelet right here, my dear. This is your reading. Let's get into this shall we so let's find out you guys when is new love coming in hey new boo where are you when is this new love coming into my group number two? Ooh, it says it's gonna come in after some forgiveness you gotta forgive people and it, it ain't for them it's for you i feel like my group number two has to they're gonna find themselves um releasing and letting themselves Letting things go a lot and letting that self go with certain things about yourself that you're about to let go and release. It's like I forgive everything, I forgive it all. Like certain people, even though certain things were intentional, certain people were not truly set out to hurt you. And they need to seek forgiveness for themselves. But while they're doing that, you can relieve them of being on your mind. You know? Don't hold on to no grudges. Don't hold on to no hatred. Don't hold on to no frustration. Don't hold on to no wanting to receive answers and what enclosures. Every time I hear someone say that I want closure, no, you just want to hold on to something that you're not willing to release yet. What are you looking for? Do you, like, I, I ask people all the time, like, do you really think this person is going to say sorry or I know I wronged you and yeah, I did this or yeah, like, they're not. And the thing that people need to realize is that while you're holding yourself back, holding on to things that were just a lesson, these people have gone on and they're living their life 100% not thinking a fuck about you. They don't. And I want y'all to understand that, that they don't. I had to tell my own mother that when I was a kid, okay, I am a child that went through divorce with my parents. Your children go through divorce with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And sometimes uh, we could hold on to hurt and bitterness so much inside that you don't realize how many years have passed you by. Holding on to resentment, hurt, and bitterness. And you're looking at the other person from the outside living in. Looking in and they're happy. They got a new fiance. They're living their life. While you're trapped in misery. Because you won't forgive somebody for disappointing you. And letting that shit go. And then you're seeping more into anger and frustration. Because these people are thriving and living in happiness why because they're not thinking shit about you or shit about what happened they don't care i don't know why i'm having to go this deep into this like that but somebody needed to hear this 
It's the harsh truth. Hey, new boo, where are you? This person is not going to come until you forgive and release and let go. You're wasting time. You're wasting years holding on to resentment for people that have moved on and ain't thinking about you. Release and let it go. Not for nobody but yourself. Don't wish no karma. No. Uh, don't. Listen. Let it go. So tell me about information. About what type of love connection is coming into my group number two in the future. So you got building a future. And you got quality time. So you got someone that you're going to build a future with day by day. By spending a lot of quality time with each other. So I feel like group number two. The person that is coming into your life. Is going to come after you fully released and let go. Of whatever has been holding you back from your past. And you found someone. Or they found you. Someone that you could just connect and build with. As a friend. I don't even think that you guys are even looking at your connection as something that would develop into love in the future. I really do feel like you just enjoy spending your time with this person on just some casual friend or dating type of thing. I don't even see there's any sexual intimacy there. That quality time, a lot of quality time will make the heart grow fonder. Make sure that um, the person that is cut, you will know the difference between someone that just wants to sleep with you and someone that potentially really enjoys you and wants to be with you. Because they just, it don't matter what y'all doing, y'all could just be going to the mall, going to do car wash, anything. Grocery shop and running the Target. Oh, I'll go with you. Or oh, you want me to drive you? Oh, I do. This person is constantly of service. When this person don't have nothing to do, this person is trying to see where you at and what you're trying to do today. So, let's read Building a Future first. This one is a keeper. Your love lies is extending to the next level. Building a future. Hey, new boo, where are you? It says quality time. Quality times mean putting away the phone and clearing your brain of anything distracting so you can ensure that your partner is your number one focus. Do you understand why I am saying that this person is not going to come around until you've actually forgive everything and you have released everything from the past? You really have to let it go and release it. You ain't got no distractions, no impurities, tainting your brain or your heart. You were just 100% into the thick of it. Smothered. Okay? So let's see. Tell me some information about the personality type of the man or woman that's going to be coming into group number two's life let's see what we got we have french fries cancer wasn't this the cancer group this was cancer right you got french fries cancer so this person may be a water sign may be a cancer it may like mcdonald's french fries a lot and i specifically feel like it's mcdonald's okay I reload it. It says single, 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 single. Okay, we are reloading. All right, it says single, classic, favorable, slim, giving, polite. Oh, this is my type of man right here. Y'all know I like me a skinny nigga. Y'all know I like me a skinny nigga. Okay, okay. I like that, you guys. Someone who is just like cool, calm, and collective, most definitely single. You do not have to worry about this person having nobody in the background. And that totally has their focus on you. 
We spend a lot of quality time with you. Just really building blocks. Hmm, I like this. Let's get into it. How y'all going? Oh, facial features. What are some physical features of this person for my group number two? Let's see. You got feminine. And then you got vertiligo. So, I know that you've seen people with vertiligo before. I forget what the um, supermodel is. She is so beautiful and she has vertilog vertiligo. Actually, um, a lot of people in my family, vert uh, vertiligo runs in my family. Like, really bad. A lot. So, this may be someone that may have some type of skin deficiency issues but you feel makes this person stand out and be unique and actually I feel like you like the um the little light patches on this person's face and I want to say that the person has like a vitiligo patch or something like in their hair and like this like one portion of their hair is just like silver and like you love it like you love it okay and this could be a feminine energy so this could be this could be a masculine energy that is watching this power right here. I could totally, I can totally see that the person coming into y'all's life is a feminine energy. Because she just wants to build a future and she wants to spend quality time with you. It's not so much about a sexual connection. It's about quality time. And you got to understand that a lot of these men, sometimes it's, it's hard. Um, oh, and if you are a cancer, oh, it is hard for cancers to let go of people in the past. Oh, they will hold on to someone from the past like it. Oh, my goodness. You need the jaws of life to break that apart. Cancer really has to come to the part where cancer is like, okay, fuck it, I'm done. And when cancer said it, they done, I mean, they are done. They will never look at you again. You could be on fire and they will walk right past you. I promise promise you a cancer if you've ever felt a cancer's wall if a cancer has ever walled you out baby that is oh my goodness because they could just be so loving so live so nurturing so clingy to you because cancers could be clingy you know baby let them say you know what i forgive you you good say less oh baby you don't have to say nothing anymore Forget to say less. You ain't you ain't ever have to. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Okay. Cancer done found somebody else that they're spending quality time and building a future with. Cancer just had to get to this point of forgiveness. They just had to release and let go. And it's like they open up their, their heart, their mind. In their soul to somebody else. Because it's th this is building slowly. I want to say it could have felt a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. Because I want to say you guys really don't know each other. I mean at all. For this group to be like. Let's build something. Quality time. And it's not so much of. Any type of sexual anything just jumping out there to me like that. Oh, yeah, this is somebody that you really don't know. And you met this person after you forgave something from your past and let go and open the door to new activity. All right, let's see how you're going to meet this person. How are you going to meet this person? Group two. The ace of swords. Oh, and it's in it. Okay, you got the ace of swords in reverse and then you got the ten of cups. So you are going to meet this person like once you clear your head from some type of confusion. Um, I, I'm honestly hearing it's like some type of brain fog. It's like you really could not see past what was currently in your heart. And what was in your heart at that time was um, clouding your mind so bad. That you could not really make a clear decision. It's like some level of indecisiveness. It's like one minute. I'm ready to release and move on. And then the next minute. It's like I find some way to cling back to old memories. Or you know. Something from past tense.
I just heard you guys might have been talking to somebody. It could have been a family member or a friend that could have gave you some information that um, it was like the final straw. And it's like it helped improve your thought process. It's like you could. I just heard see through the rain. Why am I seeing fog and rain? I want to say like there was like a bit of confusion. I want to say like family came through and cleared something up for you. I heard it's time to start attracting something else. It's like making your mind up to do so. I feel like your family and your friends could be taking you out. Helping you stretch your stuff a little bit. Helping you have a little bit more fun. Just go out and meet the people. I'm getting some level of like celebration of coming out. Like some type of moment of truth that someone could have been hiding. Someone could have been hiding a lot. Because with this ace of sword, I feel like someone's not speaking up or, or telling the truth all of the time. It's like. I just heard fess up and speak the truth. I just heard some, somebody something about fessing up and speaking the truth so you could get to where you're going. It's like once you release something and just get it out. I, I heard it's like someone's going to be very successful. It's like everybody accepts you. You're in a place of love. So if this has something to do with someone coming out. Lying about coming out to their family or something like that. I feel like something like that may be addressed around this time. It's like a family member calling you out on a lie. It's like forcing someone to speak their truth in front of family. That's a separate message. I just heard I'm sick and tired of shit. We're not lying anymore. Spit it out so we can keep it moving. Spit it out. What the fuck are we lying for? Like, what are we keeping secrets or like holding back truth? Just say what the say what you want to say to family, friends, and everybody involved. What does that have to do with this? I'm sorry, y'all, because that's like. And I can't even remember what I said earlier. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes when I do tarot and I'm channeling, it's just like messages. Me okay, a message will come out and then that'll be erased from, from my brain. And then something else will come. And I'll do readings for people and people will try to tell me what I said. And I don't remember a thing that I said. And again, it's like some spiritual HIPAA law. Like, once you speak something, it just like, it's like they take the little light thing on, um... Men in black and they they erase your brain or something. I really can't remember what I said. But I I I I know that there's somebody here that's just come a long way. And I want to say like they've struggled with a decision. This is my first message. They've struggled with a decision and seeing the truth in something. And this person really, really wants happiness. This person really wants family they want structure it's something else about like someone hiding who they're truly involved with and lying to their family about you know what i'm saying it's like you not being able to um bring someone home and someone's like i don't want to do this anymore I'm just, I'm, I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. I gotta let that go. I really do. 
I just heard you could play outside in the sun more. I heard you could party with your friends more, like your real friends. I want to say things like it's something about being able to speak honest, openly, and truthfully to your family and friends in your in your home environment. That is very, very important to these people. Let's find out, you guys, because I just... I feel like you're going to meet this person, your new boo, after a coming out. Why well, I'm hearing a coming out ceremony. It's like a coming out ceremony. It's like when you finally speak your truth, you finally tell people what you've been hiding, what you've been reluctant to say, or you come to some type of decision that you were back and forth about where it's like you could have been lying to yourself about something. It's like I finally accept it. Now that I finally came to this turning point about that, are you accepting something as a lie or are you just coming out with something, or realizing that you happen to uh, uh, address something that you've been holding in secrecy? Because there's something here with this um, Ace of Swords being in reverse. It's like, you're, it's like someone's holding something back or not saying something or not doing something. And it's like hurting itself and everybody else involved. It's like once this person realizes that they don't have to hide, have to be manipulative and, and hold things back. It's like everybody in the whole family, in the whole house, everyone is more happier. Because it's like this person isn't lying anymore. And, and it's like people knew you were lying. Like I know I, you're lying. This could even be y'all's family. It's like, we forgive you. You've been lying the whole time about something. I feel like now that something is more out in the open, you can more openly spend quality time and build a future with this person. It's like, once somebody stopped lying about something... I just heard something about seek forgiveness. If this is something about like a coming out. Because I feel like I just told like two or three different stories. With, with this group too. Because just with the forgiveness card. I just remember. It, it, I was just talking about someone really releasing. And then when I seen that it was like someone making their mind up. Understanding that they were you know. Being a victim of their own doing because they're not looking at something as reality or accepting the truth. To so once you accept something and just say, fuck it, I forgive it. It's like you, you, you receive so much happiness. So much happiness, so much fulfillment. It's like now you can live. Like, I finally let it, I, I, I finally did it. I finally did it. But anyway, let's, let's keep going. Y'all have to let me know more about what the true T is with group number two. I want to kind of get my other tarot cards and read more into that, but I'm not going to do that because I didn't do that with number one. So I'm not going to do that. But if you guys want a personal reading, inbox me on Instagram. Now let's find out what this person is coming into your life. What it is that they're going to be attracted to about you. What makes you attractive to this person? So you got hot cocoa, meaning committed, steady, conscious, loves holidays. I like that about you too. They said you're imaginative, loyal. There go that loyal again. Loyal, being committed. Okay, that, that speaks some volumes to this person. You're sexy, you're sincere, you're creative, but you're a fighter. Cherries. I 
like that. You better fight for what you believe in. Is it you that's going to make someone speak out and tell the truth? Or it's like something is going to... Because I honestly heard it's like you, you're going to have to address something or be out in the forefront. Or it's like I'm going to have to get rid of you because I'm not... I'm not going to lie be nobody's secret. You are a very loyal person. You're very dedicated. And again, like I said, this right here, especially how it says loves, holidays, hot cocos, the ten of cups, family and everything. Like you want to really be able to live life out in the open and you're very proud. You're bold and courageous in a way where... I feel like this french fries person, the single, classic, classic. So I do feel like this could be like LGBT something. Because I do feel like this is a very classic individual. Like I said, it's favorable, slim, giving, polite. This person is single. I feel like you are more daring than this french fries type of person. Yes. Like I said, you're a fighter. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I, I'm getting so much from this. Because I feel like this group here could have had some past life experiences with each other. If it's someone I feel like this is two situations this could be someone that is forced out of the closet by a family member to get them to stop lying so they can like really live their life the way that they should you know because I feel like when you're hiding and you're, you know, you can't openly attract and get the quality partnership that you're looking for because everything is on the low. So you're only going to attract certain type of individuals. Do you understand what I'm saying? People that are sneaking just like you. You're not going to have that much of a quality relationship. If this is someone that is on the down low... If you just be open and honest and lead with your truth, you can build a future with someone out in the open. You can build and have quality time. You can bring this person around your families. Y'all can do hot cocoa and festive holiday things. Like It would be like totally different. I feel... One of the stories here that is in the group too is if this is someone where you've had a past situation here. There could be someone that is needing to ask for forgiveness because they could have kept the person that they're really attracted to and it's really been loyal to them. Because this person feels like the collective, whoever is that picked this group because I asked my last spread was... What does this person like about you? Okay. What does this say? What does this person like about you slash what are they looking for? What does this person like about you? They like that you are committed, steady, conscious, loves holidays, imaginative, loyal, sexy, sincere, creative, and a fighter. They're not going to hide anything. You're not accepting any lies. You want to be out in the open. And you want to be proud about what you're doing. And that's just it. That's bottom line. And this group, something has to be revealed or accepted. If it's not that you are coming out, it's that someone 
is having to forgive some bullshit that they held on for too long in the past. You're a very loyal, dedicated, and beautiful person. And the person that is coming into your life, this French fry individual, this cancer sign individual, they're single. And they're looking for someone that is single, but that is loyal. And that's exactly what you are. They desire this. Someone that they can bring home to their family. Someone that they're not going to have to sneak around and lie about. So, for my group two, if you feel like you've met someone and they're not really trying to build something with you, just spending a lot of quality time, talking a lot and, you know, building things out in the open, this is not, this is not the French fries person. This is not the French fries person because this person is looking for someone that's loyal and committed. They're looking for someone spicy. They're looking for someone that's daring. They're looking for someone that's tempting. They're looking for someone that can get them to do something that they wouldn't never normally do. And that's you. Not quite sure where the forgiveness comes in the picture for you. Have it being you forgiving your past. Or you need needing to forgive yourself. So you can stop lying and live the way that you want to. So you can truly be in prosperity and happiness. And whoever this is that's coming up. Your family is going to be so happy. That you finally did this and stopped lying. Because they were tired of fucking... Living in your secret. So, that one was a hard one for me. Okay. I am reloaded. I am reloaded. So, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope that that resonated. Y'all let me know down in the comments. And if you don't feel comfortable, let me know how it resonated for you down in the comments. Inbox me, baby. Because I would love. To get some confirmations on some of these messages that I be getting. All right. So group number two, thank you. Group number three, would it be who? Who? Why? Hell no. Nah. Irritating as hell. I need that far. Group number three, what it be? So group number three, if you pick the sign of Taurus on right in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pink bracelet. I believe this is Ryan Knight. This is the only one I know, child. Um, this is your group. Let's get into your reading, shall we? All right. So when is new love coming into group number three's life? Hey, new boo, where are you? When is love coming in? All right, so this says don't stop. Don't stop. Keep believing. Keep it moving. Keep it coming. Don't stop wishing, wanting, and looking for love. Don't stop. When is it coming? Don't stop. It ain't coming right now. Continue looking. I feel like this is my secret group. I feel like you guys are more active. You guys are more outgoing. I feel like you guys are a showstopper. You guys want to be in the spotlight. You guys want to be seen. I feel like you guys are a very attractive group. You're the extrovert group. I don't I don't think that you're on the prowl, but I think that you have been enjoying just celebrating your life right now and I feel like you just don't want it to stop I feel like you are attracting your love life to you just by shining and being a star and I feel like you don't want to stop being a star right now you don't want to stop 
I feel like you like the limelight too much right now. Or you like the attention. You like the level of how people are gravitating to you. Um, I don't see you just wanting to gravitate to just one person. Am I, am I making any sense? I don't think that you want it to stop right now. I think that you like the constant attraction and the attention that you're getting at this moment. Um, hey, new boo, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Where are you not at? Like, I, I <laughs> hold on. Let me let me see. Let's see. Give me some info on this future connection and love. Love at first sight and ready for love. So don't stop doing what you're doing. Because I feel like you guys are shining like the star that you are. And you are attracting like a moth to a flame. You about to get something good. I don't even think. I don't feel like you ready. I don't feel like you ready to stop the attention that you're getting. It's like. I don't. You're going to know though. I mean you're ready for love. And like I said love at first sight. I don't know if this is the person of how they see. Because you are shining so bright. You are shining so bright. I feel like you are an entertainer or you are, again, like a showstopper. Like people are on your line, like big time. Someone could be telling you that they fell in love with you at first sight because you were just, I want to say daring, create, uh, courageous, bold. Like you stick out or you were loud. You were loud at doing something. Like I feel like you. Why do I feel like group number three, like, you know, you're loud? <laughs> and I'm here. Don't stop the celebration. Let's read Ready for Love. It says you've been understandably guarded, scared of being hurt again, but you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. Okay, don't stop. Whatever you're doing, don't stop. Because you definitely showing God that you're ready for love, honey. Don't stop till you get enough, okay? Come on, uh, 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 don't stop till you get enough. Come on, uh, 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 don't stop till you get enough, okay? And this says, love at first sight, the instant gravitational pull. You two felt when first meeting, let you know that this is a soul connection. Again, group three. Whatever it is that you are doing that got you standing out right now, that is causing so much attention to be shot your way. I mean, everybody, like, I feel like your comment section be flooded. Like, there's a lot of activity. Like, I don't know what happened. Or if you just woke up with the juice, what you've done to improve your circumstances, but whatever you're doing, but whatever you're doing, don't stop. You got this gravitational pull towards you, baby. That is ridiculous. Everybody is like vying for your attention right now. That's why I say there's something about this group where I feel like you're enjoying so much of this attention. I don't know if you are ready to stop it just yet for one person. But there is going to be love at first sight. You can't deny it. And you are actually ready for love. I just don't think that you've ever had this much attention all at one time. It's like fucking crazy. So it's like you knew something serious was about to happen. Because you ain't never felt no energy like this before. I don't know if it's just because you were really feeling yourself at this moment in your time. And like they said, you understandably have been guarded. But you did your work. And that is why everybody is pulling on you right now. Everybody is wanting you right now, honey. Let's get into this. Let's find out the personality type of the individual that's coming your way. Oh, you got the steak. Oh, 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 what's the steak card about? What is the steak card about a big 
juicy piece of grade A USDA prime steak, girl. Ooh, it says hearty. Ooh, dominant. Ah, okay, demanding, diverse, and Establish. This is an earth sign, you guys. This is someone that's real grounded. And this could be a fat daddy and a caddy. Oh, this is a, ooh, this person. Mm. Either this is a fat daddy and a caddy or this is a girl. She got some hips, thighs, and beautiful eyes on her. I'm about to tell you that. She's a hearty eater. Okay? Ooh, I was about to say something nasty. We ain't about to do that. I feel like this person is um has a very healthy lifestyle. This person likes to go out and party, laugh. That's why I feel like you're going to meet this person in the social circumstances. You could be out to eat at a brunch, at a day party, um, at a cookout, something where it's like fine dining or expensive food is being served. I want to say that this person is a heavy eater in a sense. Like, this person loves food and loves a hearty meal. This is the type of energy that they might get upset if they go a long time throughout the day and they don't eat. Like, this is someone that will get hangry. And they don't like cheap food. I highly doubt that you would see this person at McDonald's. So I want to say that you are going to meet this person in a more up, uh, upscale circumstance. Um, let's find out about the physical features. We got green eyes and red hair. All right. So red hair vixen. Trying to get her a vixen. Okay, girl. Okay, come on, steak. Come on, lobster and steak. Like I said, whoever this is has expensive taste. Whoever this is has expensive taste. I want to say they have like a very exotic look. Green eyes and red hair. I would look. That is. Oh. Turn me gay, girl. Turn me gay. Because I would love to see you, girl. Like, what? You know what this brings to me? Um, Big Trouble in Little China. Remember... They were looking for the girls with the green eyes. And the Chinese girl had the green eyes. But then they had the white girl with the red hair that had the green eyes too. And the big tits. Okay. And they kidnapped her ass too. Because they said, girl, with them big old titties and them green eyes and that red hair. Come on over here, girl. All right. Stop playing with it. I love me a redhead. I keep my hair. It's just... Blondes need to move on, girl. Red is where it's at. It is where it's at. I really honestly feel for my fellas. You might like this person because she's thick. She's healthy. She has divine taste. I feel like she has exotic sex appeal. She has very um, unique features about herself. And it just sweeps you. It sweeps you. It's just love at first sight. It's like how. How could everybody in the room. Not be looking at this girl. Or not be looking at this. You know what I'm saying. No one else in this room. Has these features. Or just sticks out like that. So. I don't know if you realize it. Like you might be the most. Attractive person and with whatever outlet this is but you have head spinning and it's not just the steak person it's multiple entities in this room everyone is looking at you so whatever you're doing don't stop okay and if you've been having a protein heavy um diet because you're trying to get a little thicker don't stop it's working it is fucking working all right. And I feel like you are in very rich company. Let's find out how you will meet this person. Ooh, you got the justice card. And you got the five of wands. Okay. After you finish beating somebody's ass in a game of justice and karma. Okay. So, you're going to meet this person. I want to say... I just heard like a... Um, 
her like a structured ruling. It's like someone, it's like I don't want to be the enemy of you anymore. I bow out gracefully. Because someone's like, I don't want any more drama or confusion or something. It's like something could have something could have gotten worse. But it's like the fair hand came down to allow something to be stable. So there could have been some type of disagreement or conflict resolution or something. I don't know if you've come to uh, resolve a situation between two people that were your friends, your colleagues or something. And like you could have been the middle guy or the middle person. Or maybe this was the person that could um, resolve some issue between you and someone else. It could have been like a disagreement or some level of jealousy. I want to say like someone could have been picking on you intentionally because this is the five of wands and the first so this is when it was like in the beginning with the five of wands and the upright it was just like little disagreements misunderstandings people not hearing each other or trying to understand what each other was seeking from each other like two narcissists trying to get someone to listen to each other but with the five of wands and the first it just it started out as disagreements and petty banter to now it's about to get to an all-out fight. And with the justice card right there, it's like someone had to come and put the fair down hand. Fair hand down and be like, hold on, something ain't right here. Like, y'all two need to learn how to get along or you guys need to agree to disagree and go your separate ways. <laughs> So you can meet this person after there was like a fair justice call about misconduct or something. I feel like you could have been the more reputable speaker out of the two of you. And fair justice could have gone your way. You might be going out to celebrate. I want to say because you feel happy. I want to say it was like some type of final ruling as well. And whatever it was was fair. It's, I want to say like it was a petty argument or something that had to do with some jealousy. Or someone just not wanting to be your friend. It's like if someone doesn't want to be your friend, they don't have to be your friend. Like don't talk to. I, I just heard someone don't talk to you guys no more. Because they, because they had to go seek justice. So I don't. It's like something after some conflict resolution. There was some conflict resolution. I just heard. Like all of you guys just can't be friends. Friends. It's like someone is. Someone got ostracized from a group. It's like someone has to agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Because they weren't listening. Certain people weren't listening. And it was like you weren't. I want to say people could have intentionally made you feel like you didn't fit in. And they could have ostracized you from a group. And it's fair. If they don't want to be your friends, they don't have to be your friends. But. If that's the case, and it's like some fair ruling, it could be someone that's completely on the outside looking in and is just giving their unbiased opinion. It's like, they don't want to be your friend. Let their stupid ass sit over there by yourself. They're going to destroy each other. You come on over here and thrive. Take yourself out of, it's like, it's like taking yourself out of a, place that you didn't need to be in around people that weren't a suitable group for you and it's like once you did that 
And then I heard, and let bygones be bygones. Like, you honestly are at peace with never having to see these people again. Because it's like, you could have been frustrated with just trying to do your part. I feel like you weren't allowed to do your part. I just heard people was being petty and it has something to do with finances as well. It's like a group of people arguing amongst each other. I feel like you guys, you could meet this person after having like a hard day at work. I want to say that the decision that whoever the judge or the group or somebody made, it was fair. Because I feel like they didn't want you around. They did not want you anyway. So, I, and I just heard it would, de it would de defeat the purpose because if you would have continued to stay around people that intentionally are just trying to misunderstand you, find something to argue with you about, and it just always in some petty disagreements. I don't even think that you would have been. You wouldn't even been looked at. It's because. It's like. One monkey don't stop no show. Look. Can't stop won't stop. It's because you don't stop. Group three. It's like I don't need to be over here with y'all motherfuckers anyway. It's, it's something about a whole bunch of. I want to say a whole bunch of people look bad in this scenario, but I want to say, but because you were removed out of this situation, you walked away and took your peace with you and rightfully so. And it's like you went over here, not stopping, steady shining, thriving. People could see you alone. And it's like all the attention is on you instead of trying to figure out which one was the best of you out of this group of ignorant people like you would have never been able to shine i don't know if you guys started going out by yourself because i want to say with this justice car like you made a decision like okay it's like you could have been you could have like the decision that was ruled out to you I want to say like these people thought that they won, but they didn't realize that they didn't win. They thought that they won. But when they had to step out and see all of this attention on you and that nothing that they could do could stop you and that you were still going out there and thriving anyway and that you actually found a, a real connection in front of their face. Um... Because, again, like the five of wands could have been something about like a competition, competing, jealousy, pettiness, arguments, malice. With the intent to distribute a month. Like this is someone that is intentionally trying to cause mischief amongst the ranks, if it makes any sense. Or to have a group of people fight for ranking. To see who's going to make it to the top. Like I, I, I don't, I don't have time for shit like that. One monkey don't stop no show. Look, these motherfuckers don't got no red hair and green eyes like me. And I want to say, like, that's possibly why there was so much dissension. Because I'm sorry with this five of wands right here. Like this ain't good, baby. There was dissension amongst the ranks. Okay. Someone like it's like someone could have decided to let you go because it was causing too much confusion and too much um ruckus and uproar amongst other people. Hold on. People felt like they would not be seen if you were around. 
So you went to go be seen by yourself. You're going to come into this connection once you realize that you don't need people to go out with you. You don't need to be with family. You don't need to be with friends. I honestly feel like you decided to just start going out by yourself. Doing something by your lonesome. And especially with this justice here with all of these books. It's like you, you, you know what to do. You know where to go. You know how to entertain yourself. I feel like you're very entertaining and like you have a knowledge, a lot of knowledge. And there's a lot of it's a lot that comes with you. I don't know why I can't talk. It's something about you being safe to do something um, by yourself. It's like you don't need these people with you. Some people could have really been jealous of you, group number three. And you did not need to have these people around you. I want to say like these people were jealous of you. And, and, and I feel like these are people that were in competition with you. And they were supposed to be your friends. And they could have kicked you out of some group. And now you don't hang with these friends no more. And you decided not to stop. And they continue to, to still go out. And I feel like you attracted the right type of love for you. Like it came to you. Like you were just shining. Because you were so unique. You were so different. Like you were going out having a hearty meal like you normally do. Because you don't like no cheap shit. If I'm going to go eat lunch, I'm going to eat steak and lobster and fucking... I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what this person that's coming into your life likes about you. Jesus, how the heck do you say this? How, why can I say this? Why can I say this? What is this? Um... A, a carcuterie. There you go. You got a carcuterie board. I told you your ass was expensive. Y'all, it's certain words that are just tongue twisters for me. And carcuterie. Am I saying it right? Carcuterie. Carcuterie board is one of them. <laughs> it's one of them. It says, cheek, sophisticated, successful, beautiful. I t Virgo, I try to tell you, these people were jealous of you. Then you got cinnamon, Taurus, sturdy, healer, well-rounded, strong-minded. Again, this is the five of wands. This is when your opinions beat the others. You are making way more sense to the higher-ups than anything else that these other people got to say. And they feel intimidated by you. I don't know if it's your stance. Just, again, like it says, your sophistication. Just the way you carry yourself, how knowledgeable you are, because you did see all of those books on the floor with the justice card. Um, it's like something about you beating out the competition. And I feel like people charge more for you. They do more for you. Yeah. I've heard for group number three, ever since you up ever since you updated your standards, this group of people don't like you anyway. Ever since you updated some group of standards, old people in your life didn't like you anymore anyway. Because you think you're too sophisticated. They think you're too sedity. I'm gonna read this ready for love card one more time because. I really strongly feel like you guys need to hear this. See, these people weren't ready for love. Not these people. And these are people that are like your family, your friends, your colleagues. Love is going to come to you guys once you get the wrong people out of your environment. Because you did what you were supposed to do, group three, so that you could heal and attract new love. You're ready for love. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone that's ready for love... They don't compete with they don't compare to. I'm just going to move the fuck one out of your way. Do you see how these people are like, I don't like you anymore. You did this. You did that. You be making us feel like this. You be acting like you did. Get away from us. Like, and, 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 
every sense of the word they have the right to feel. They they are justified in feeling the way that they feel because they are low cow, low brow for real. And you make them feel low about that self. You trigger some level of jealousy, um, insecurity, something about these people where they just don't fucking like you anymore. Ever since you started to upgrade certain shit about yourself, they can't stand to be around you no more. It says you've been understandably guarded. Scared of being hurt again. But you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. And the fact that you did not stop. Group number three. And love comes to you instantly. It says the instant gravitational pull. Because I told you. Baby. Can't stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. The instant gravitational pull you two felt when you first meet lets you know that this is a soul connection. This person is hearty, dominant, demanding, diverse, and established. And they like you because you are cheek, sophisticated, successful, and beautiful. And you have a very expensive quality about yourself you take good care of yourself and you have enriched your soul they said you are sturdy you are healer you're well rounded and you're strong minded that's why these bitches don't like you that's why these bitches don't fucking like you group number three so group number three you already know what it be listen sometimes love is not that it's blocked for, for group number three. It's blocked. Because you have, baby, you see how much variety you come with? Do you see how much variety? You ain't just getting one sample of meat. Do you know how much variety did you come? These hoes ain't got no variety. They from the value mark. They not, they not a variety. Stop trying me. I got to go. Because I hate jealous assholes. Say it with me. I got to go. Because I hate jealous assholes. Look, y'all let me know. Group number three. Love going to come to you as soon as you get them hating ass buzzard bitches around you. Or, and, and it can even be men too. You know how many men that sit there and hate on a man's girlfriend? I have literally seen men do this before. I have seen men that are so bitter and jealous of their male friends because they actually have an attractive girlfriend that really loves and cares for her man, cooks clean, does everything that them lousy, dust bunny, dirty, roach motel, bottom feet and crab ass hoes don't do for them because they low brow. You understand what I'm saying? When you have people that actually invest the time and quality in themselves and make sure that they receive quality. You can't be a quality seeker around dumpster divers. Because they always going to look at your quality and try to figure out why they have to dumpster dive every day. But you're so close to them. But they still diving and you steady thriving. Do you understand? People like that will only hurt you in the long run. And anybody that's made it to the end of this video, y'all made it to the end of this video for a reading. I mean for a reason because I'm done with the reading. But someone needs to hear this. When you are thriving, you cannot be near people that are dumpster diving. Everything that you do, everything that you gain, every smile that comes across your face as a threat and a reminder to them that they have failed. It's not because of anything that you did. It's not because you didn't support them. It's not because you didn't love them. It's not because you didn't root for them. These people do not want to do what is meant for them to do to get to the level of where you're at. 
And as long as you decide to continue to hold on to these type of people. Okay? I don't want to be around nobody that smell like dumpster juice. Okay? Have you ever been riding behind a, a, a trash truck and seeing the juice? Girl, ew. Ew. And that's exactly how you should feel. I'd rather be alone every motherfucking day. Going to the bar. Taking myself out. Entertaining myself and meeting new people. Going to a comedy show by myself. Going to a play by myself. I'd rather be by myself than be around people that are true life living color frenemies. And you don't even realize it. Fellas, if you got a male friend that they always got something negative or hateful to say about your baby mother or your female friend, you need to really recalibrate what type of energies that you have around you. If these are the type of men that they only fuck lousy whores that don't want anything but material any anyway. But they're jealous of you because you desire quality and a true substantial relationship in your life. And they hate on your girl constantly. You need to get these motherfuckers from around you. And vice versa. Women as well. I've seen women where their own mothers are the hater. Friend, family, and foe treat a hoe like a hoe. I done told y'all many a times. Sometimes God will hold back blessings from you because I'm going to let you know something. If I just met you and if I just started dating you and you're an amazing person, but your family and friends around you, they seem toxic and negative and they don't like me. They're turning up their face. They're not even giving me a chance. Like it's just negative energy. I'm going to stop talking to you. I'm not going to invite I just because I got the invite don't mean I need to walk through that door. I'm already seeing the, the chaos. I'm already seeing the energy. I'm already seeing where this could go in the future. I like you, but I might not like your surroundings. Do you understand what I'm saying? So y'all pay attention to what the fuck I'm saying, you guys. Don't block no blessings, especially in love when God got something special for you. Because there's somebody out there right now praying for you right now. Don't let someone that is perfect for you finally come into your life and they have an amazing time with you. But they cringe back up, say, ugh, and turn away because they can deal with you, but they can't deal with your surroundings. The two don't match. And if I attach myself to you, them surroundings is going to attach themselves to me too. And I ain't set up for that. I don't set up myself for failure. Do you understand what I'm saying? And there was a message in group number two about somebody possibly needing to come out of the closet and tell the truth. If the person that you're dating is beautiful, loving, and they are proud about who they are you ain't dragging me into no closet you ain't keeping me no secret like I'm some low bottom feet inside bitch cause you only hide what you feel like you're doing something wrong and if you feel like what we got going on is wrong. You can't bring me around your family. You can't bring me in front of your friends. You can't celebrate how good we make each other feel to the world. Then I'm in the wrong arena. I might not like you. I might like you, but I don't like your environment. And again, for my group number two, if that resonated with you, the only thing you had to do was tell the truth to your family and it would change your whole environment. Because the family wasn't, the family been waiting for you to be honest. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here because now I'm just running my damn mouth. I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. 
sorry if uh my speech has been a little bit off i don't know what the heck has been going on with that but look <laughs> work with me i'll work with you i love you see you next time peace